Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of RV Videos. We're here in Tibby Island, Georgia, on top of the lighthouse, checking out the view. This is one of the great things you can see when you go RVing to unique locations like Savannah and the coast. So come along, we'll show you what there is to see and do out here in beautiful Savannah. Your first stop at Tibby Island should be the Tibby Island Lighthouse. This lighthouse has been a working lighthouse for over 270 years. It's still in operation today, and you can pay to go up to the top. It's a total of 178 stairs in a banister style with a center post where you circle as you climb up the inside of the walls. The interesting thing about the walls in this lighthouse is that about halfway up, the bricks change. The building was burned during the Civil War and has been rebuilt with different bricks up towards the top. As you climb the stairs, there's lookouts where you can peek out the window to see just how high you've come. Once you do reach the top, you walk out a door and you can see how high you really are. That's the cool view. Tibby Island has been under multiple flags in its history, including the Spanish, French, pirates were here at one time, colonial, Georgia, Civil War flag, and U.S. flag. Leaving the lighthouse, you can tour downtown and stop by the beautiful beaches to enjoy the sand, sun, and waves. Leaving Tibby Island, you head northwest into South Carolina for the Savannah National Wildlife Refuge off-road tour. This four mile gravel road takes you through an amazing scenic vista of natural plants and animals just a short drive away from the major city of Savannah. The Wildlife Refuge is built on the remains of rice plantations that were left over from the Civil War. As you drive the Four Mile Dirt Road, you'll actually see old structures that date back to those days. These plantations were manned by slaves and were only profitable because of slaves. With the loss of slavery, the plantations lost their income stream, or their ability to make a profitable income stream. As a result, the lands became fallow and eventually this has been returned to federal government property and has been turned over as a wildlife refuge. There's hiking trails and many scenic vistas where you can watch the wildlife in a natural setting. What we found interesting during our trip was the number of gators that were visible throughout this area. They are swimming in the water, lying on the shores, and we even spotted bunch of babies all hanging out together. So that's it for our tour of Tibby Island and Savannah area. There's great RV parks and campgrounds in the area. We invite you to campgroundviews.com to find them and see them. For this week, this is Mark Kep with campgroundviews.com. See you again next week in our video series. Goodbye.